Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, I'm going to attempt to show you uh, some of the painted papers I did a couple of weeks ago and it was really nice and me and Mr Doodle sat outside and we got pots of um, the Inca Golds. Can't show you the ones with the labels on because I've took the labels off but we've emptied all the pots out so we've got none of that left now, thank goodness, and I've had them years and they was all kept going a bit manky and I kept trying to clean them up and I just got fed up of them. So I said, right, we'll get rid of them. So um, we've used all sorts of, I think Mr. Doodle's done some of these as well. Hmm, can't remember. Uh, um, the sun's come out now, look. <laughs> oh, typical. <laughs> So we've used all sorts of um, different colours and I did get some white paint and added white paint to some of them as well and I've just uh, literally just scraped it on and off. These are cereal boxes, straight, scraped it on, on and off or scraped it on with a store card or a palette knife. So that's that one purples and bronze and gold and all sorts of colours on there there was um, actually two of those I've got two big cereal boxes I hope you can see all right I've got the, the new camera set up thingy but I've got it a bit of a different way round and I should have shut the curtains damn just hang on a minute let's see if I can any difference? Little bit probably. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I've done those two and they'll be great for tags and probably a journal covers and all sorts of things. I wanted to have been meaning to show you them for well, a couple of weeks since I did them. They've just been sat on the table and I'm like, oh, I've got to get those pot away. <laughs> Right, I'll show you the biggest ones first. So they were cereal box. This one is banana packaging from the supermarket. There was a great big sheet. I've had it absolutely ages. Great big sheet. It's really thick packaging. It's got holes in, but that doesn't matter. I thought, right, we'll use some of that. I mean, I spent probably a couple of days, two or three days doing this. The paper was quite crinkled, which I wasn't bothered about, so you'll probably see bits of the brown paper in it. This is rather difficult trying to show you this, but I'd never manage it upstairs on my little desk. And then the other side I did some different colours, because <laughs> I'd got, um, got a red one and some of it I'd put white in to make like a pinky colour. That's that one. Uh, oh, so some more. This was a bit of Amazon packaging. <laughs> greens and purples and blue. I do like to do things both sides because I never know what I'm going to do with it. That one, that was some sort of packaging as well. So all I wanted to do was just scrape it on and off. Didn't want stencils out or anything. I just wanted to get it used up as quick as possible. Oh, that one, I was very adventurous. Look, with one of the empty pots, I just <laughs> did some circles on it. But that's as adventurous as I got with these. It was just scrapey, scrapey, scrapey. It was great. It was the weather was lovely, and I think that was a bit of painty paper and wipe off painty paper underneath. I think some of them are sort of a bit half got wipe offs on to start with. It's that one. Hmm, don't know what that black. Oh, I'd done that before. Don't know what it was though. Can't remember. Oh, I think it was a rosette that I'd made. Yeah, it was when we did the painty paper series last year. So that one, that one, I just got a baby wipe. I think it was already yellow underneath. 
and I just drop different colours on, or pink and green. Yeah, I think that's um, Distress Oxide, I think. So that probably would have been on that side as well. This one, I really love this. I hope it's picking up the colours as I'm seeing them. It's like blue and purple and pink and white and white. Yes, white. <laughs> really pretty that was a colouring page was it mm. no it wasn't a bit of junk mail that is you can see the writing underneath it looks as though there's a bit of stencil at some time under there That's that one I love doing this sort of thing absolutely love it so much where just mindless painting I was just dunking it in the tub and scraping it on and some of it took a, a long time to dry um, and I will probably go over them with Mod Podge. That's a shiny one, got the shiny copper on that one. Well, that one had been stenciled underneath, you can just see that poking through at some point that was probably um, just a wipe off stencil sort of thing now the sun's gone in again it's a very strange day here today is that black I can't, I can't really I'm struggling to see myself I've got this light but hang on a minute hmm no, I'm so keen of that. Is that one. Is that one. Oh, this was from some gouache paint that I've a while ago I believe. I don't know how that one's got downstairs but oh well that one. No that one I hadn't done that. I brought that down to do something else to it but I hadn't looking at it. But I, I think that's so lovely. So pretty. So that hadn't got any of the what's it paste on gilding polishes. Yeah, I'm pleased those Inca golds have gone now. I shall just stick with the Cosmic Shimmers. I'm not sure what I'd put on there. Oh, that looked like Distress Oxides on, underneath. And I think this was, I don't know whether that's a gouache paint. So I've had my gouaches out and I've done a few bits, but I'll show you those another day. That's a bit of all sorts on there, <laughs> and then splattered with black. But these will be great for journals and things. Oh yeah, these have got some splatters on. That was the green gilding thing for gold. One of these, this is a, this is nothing to do with what I did the other week. This was um, distress, distress Oxide pads just dot, dobbed on and then spritzed and, and then I'd mod podged over it, put black splatters and I've mod podged over it. Yeah. And then that's some of the... Uh, I don't know actually, I don't know whether that's, that might be gouache on there, I don't know. The first ones I showed you definitely, and this one, are the Inca Golds just scraped on and off. So that's all those painty papers, like I say I can go and get those, try and find somewhere to put these upstairs, <laughs> in craft room one. Oh, 
love that. I just love that. It feels like gouache. Yeah, I think I did that when I was in craft room one. <laughs> just playing with that other set. I don't think that was the new set. And just with a big brush and just swiping it on and off. Love it. Right, so thank you very much for watching. No doubt we'll be back. I think Mr Doodle wants to do another video next week. Thank you ever so, ever so much, everybody. I meant to say that at the beginning. Thank you ever so much for all the support you've shown him on his first video. He did ever so well, didn't he? I know he was nervous, but, you know, I don't think you could really tell he was nervous. He did really well. Um... And yeah, I think he enjoyed doing it and he's got something else he's, he'll probably come on and do. But yeah, so thank you ever so much for all your support. And he's he's gained, I think he'd got 46 subscribers before his video. And now he's got uh, 60 something, I think. 62, 61, 62. So thank you ever so much for that i really appreciate it and i know he does as well and thank you to the ladies that said you'd like to swap atcs with him he, he was quite pleased about that so right anyway thank you so much for watching take care and i'll speak to you soon bye